All right, so a little bit of break from the tractor here. We're going to do this project. Will it run? Uh, before I even started this project, I went ahead and ordered a aftermarket Chinese carburetor for it for like 15 bucks because this is the Cumpsy and the carburetor is probably junk on it and you can't really even get parts for it. This was free. I've never really messed with it. Somebody's been in here messing with it, you can see, because of the bolts or whatever you want to call it here that are different which doesn't really affect it too much I guess but it was free so I don't know and the guy I got it from said that he never could get it running right because it had carburetor problems so it looks like somebody must have been in here and I wasn't afraid of the project I just didn't I didn't want to take it on until I had a carburetor for it because I knew it was going to happen. I've been down this road at least to come these before. So I hope you all enjoying these videos. I'm having a lot of fun doing this different stuff. Let me stop you here and go in and get a wrench and a screwdriver. All right now. Try not to block a view of my hand there, but sorry about that. All right, so here's the other one. We got this vent tube on it. I went ahead and put this piece of fuel on it so we didn't have to fight with it when we got it in there. Now, I'm gonna have to get the... Let me look at this in once. So, looks like it would have been there. So, maybe there. that one I mean that seems like it'll work All right, you stupid thing. Get in there. Get in there. Get the washer pusher 5000 here. OK. 
Okay. Now, let me go in here and get a socket. Did I get it? <clears throat> Sorry about the dry content of watching me put nuts and bolts on, but that was a waste of time to go in there and get that socket anyway. I didn't fit on it. Wrench it is, I guess. Wrench it is. This is the kind of stuff I enjoy doing, tinkering, getting stuff running, fixing stuff. <clears throat> I like my chainsaws too, but I don't know. I feel like more people would probably sooner sit here and watch me work on a generator or a tractor or something than they would a chainsaw. Because, you know, who cares about a chainsaw? Just a chainsaw. Yeah, it worked for one of them, I guess. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One more. Eh, and we ought to have it. That's like probably 80 foot pounds. One of them is probably only 40 foot pounds. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get the fuel line hooked up on this pile of junk here. So. Sent me a fuel filter. Um. Okay, so I guess this is just guessy do because there's no arrow. To say what way it goes. So I'm gonna do the right thing and just stick it on there that way. One of these harbor freight clamps here. All right, 
right, so we're going to pull the shield off, which really isn't that deep because two of them are either actually 7 16th or a Phillips. Maybe we can get them out with a note. Heck yeah. I might not have enough tools out here to got up to half inch in this set. Quite a bigger ratchet here, 3 8 drive instead of that quarter. You guys having fun watching me finagle this thing out of here? Ooh, a yellow jacket. I hate yellow jackets. I don't know, me. Maybe this other tank boat. Get a little play in. There you go. See? All right, well, I can see the issue right now. Hopefully you guys can. But, I mean, you can see what the magnet looks like in it. 
All right? See how rusty it is? Now, of course, as we all know, <sighs> this worked on these. You know where the coil is at, right? So, you gotta go get some of the tools and pull the flywheel off of it. Get you off the stand, of course, and show you that this is rusty. So, that's why it's not. Now, <clears throat> in here, where your points are at. So, we'll go ahead and pop this off here. They look like. Okay, right there's the contacts. What do they look like? What do they look like? What do you guys think? I know what I think. I don't. Because it don't pay enough. 